What's up, everybody? It's your girl, B. Octavia, and I am back with another video. Now, I've been cleaning up doing notes for y'all. You feel what I'm saying? I got some videos coming out very, very soon. But today's impromptu video will be me thanking y'all for 12,000 subscribers. After 10,000, I really didn't set no other goal. I'm just going with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put too much stress on myself like I did, let's say, last year or the year before that. And numbers, they, they matter as far as being celebrated in the moment, but you can't let numbers cloud your judgment make you egotistical you know what i'm saying you gotta know that numbers are here you know what i'm saying your numbers can be here and then the next day they very well could be down here so when they fluctuate or they go from up to down will you be the same person and i'm happy to confidently say that i would be the same person whether I was on zero subscribers or now at 12,000. I want to motivate people to use their voice. And I'm happy to say that I've seen quite a few of my subscribers. And I've subscribed personally to quite a few of my subscribers who have started to use their voice and start getting creative. Even if using your voice or having a podcast or having a vlog is not your cup of tea. YouTube, on YouTube, you can be very versatile. You can do just about whatever you want, not like that, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. YouTube is very powerful and you can have zero subscribers and still get people returning to watch your channel, you know, you can do a lot of different things, but what I will say is don't be a lot of different people. If you ask me, what, what made your channel grow? Being genuine. And if being genuine is not you, then you got to find something else to do. I mean, yeah. That's pretty much it. I really thank y'all because I come from a time where I felt uncomfortable even saying a word. I felt like my opinion wouldn't matter. I felt like any sentence that I could form wouldn't add any substance to anything. And I felt that since I was a kid up until... I was about 17 or 18. It takes time. It takes confidence. But you don't have you don't have to have the most confidence in the world to start. You could have, let's say, 20%. And over the years of you being cons consistent, sorry, of you being consistent your confidence level will grow. Hopefully, th no ego forms, because that's another reason why I feel like people fuck with me, majority of the time. I want to thank y'all, because I don't want to keep going on tangents and things like that, even though I will be going live soon. I will be letting y'all know on my community when I'm going live and stuff like that. It might be before, sorry, <laughs> it might be before, um, what's that called? Before the weekend, let's just see. Um, and today is also Real Talk Tuesday, and that's why I'm here as well. I wanted to just spend a few minutes talking about T.I. and Boosie's sons that been hanging around together. And they recently got arrested. So I want to talk about that real quick. Um, 
I could say thank you a million times because I really, I don't expect much. Like, even starting a YouTube channel, of course, I want it deep down for it to grow, but I don't be expecting much. And I think that once I started to see it grow, like, the poss it's like it unlocked a door in my mind. Like, the possibilities are there. You, c you can't see everything and be like, oh, I don't expect much in that. Oh, I don't expect much in this. You got to expect something or believe in the possibilities. So I do thank y'all. Y'all help me believe in the possibilities, straight up. So I was talking to my sister about, because first of all, I seen that T.I.'s son, King, who looked just like his mommy, okay, no, no shade. Um, I saw that he got arrested, right? So I was like, dang, so you mean to tell me T.I.'s son got arrested before Boosie's son? But whole time, they got arrested together. And we could say, all right, listen. I get mad when privileged kids... Like, kids that was born into privilege. Like, you didn't have to come from the slums. Your father wasn't still in the slums when you was born. He was way past that. You feel what I'm saying? I really despise when kids like this, they want to be street so bad. They want to be street. They want to live the lives that their fathers lived, even though that's just not in your cards. And instead of being grateful about not coming from the slums, you going to really try to be a street nigga. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God. A lot of people are criticizing what T.I. said, and basically he said that if he keeps messing up and going about things this way and getting locked up, he's going to end up in prison. And it's very true. I don't think that what he said was wrong. If he feels like he has placed all of the knowledge and game, I mean, of course, it's more to learn if King is willing to listen. And I could say that for both of them. But my thing is, if he really believes that he's placed all the game and knowledge to this point that King needs or needed to avoid this and he just went right for it, went right for getting locked up so you can look sweet and look so relatable to a street guy. When in all actuality, like, this is not surprising to me because on the outside looking in, there's a lot of things, I guess, that, you know, is attractive about a street guy. Or, I don't know. I, I listen. I, because I can't speak for a young male. I can't speak for why they feel a uh, urge to get locked up and get these cool points from society when it don't end up like that. The harsh rep. The harsh reality of it is you or King and Boosie's son, King and to what Tootie, King and Tootie, they don't realize that you want to put up this image as a street guy, but most guys in the street, most guys that's really doing dirt in the streets and have the same type of image, you know, or a lot worse than y'all, right? Because this y'all first time getting locked up. Most of the guys that's really in the streets don't want to be in the streets. They didn't want that for themselves. They didn't want to get arrested. They didn't want to disappoint their parents or their whole family by their face being plastered on the news and on blogs. T.I. don't deserve to be embarrassed by his offspring. Listen, T.I. just 
it ain't just so recently. I ain't gonna say just so recently, but he had a gun charge that ain't even 15 years old. So King has saw, you know, his father go to prison, even if it was for a few years, that's enough. And he get out and you don't want to listen to him. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And both of them should be ashamed of themselves, but for real, for real. I mean, King, come on now. Like, and both of them have that alike where both of their fathers went to prison, but Boosie went to prison for a lot longer for much more serious things on the lines of murder and things like that. He could have been locked away and imprisoned for his whole entire life. He could have got life. And Tootie, I mean, I wouldn't, if Boosie was my father, I would not want to hear his mouth. And you know he going to chew him out. That's just his spirit. That's just what we know of Boosie. And I'm glad he hasn't come live and talked about it. But I do appreciate T.I. for coming out and talking about it because it's embarrassing as hell. It's embarrassing. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm surprised because it just seemed like they think it's cute. And like I said, most guys that's really in the streets, like, they don't want to be there. Just imagine, you know, a guy that's 17, 18, locked up for life. The rest of his life, he got to see these four walls being confined, you know, losing your melanin. Do you want to lose your melanin? I would say I'm surprised, but it's just, it's always going to be some of those guys and girls who really do too much and get themselves in trouble because they want to prove some type of point that's invisible. Nobody is ever going to see. Nobody's ever going to get the point that you're trying to prove. And then once you get older, you're going to be ashamed. Because you're not even going to know the point that you was trying to prove. That's what's really going to fuck them up. So, you know, it's not no laughing matter. I'm thinking of it like a, a parent. You know what I'm saying? They, they crashing out. And this is what this generation is so used to. Crashing out, you know, for social media to see. If you take an L, take that L. Take that L to yourself because one thing, as a teenager, y'all not going to want to hear nobody's opinion, but y'all going to get it. Y'all going to get it. Y'all going to get everybody's opinion. Because to us, y'all are little pups, and y'all got a lot to learn, and if you're not going to listen, this is going to keep happening to y'all until you get it. And honestly... They should not be hanging together. They are not, it's not even like one of them is a better influence on the other. They, they just trying to crash out. They just trying to crash out. It's too many people already that's crashing out over real reasons. That's trying to avenge they folks' deaths and shit. That's really crashing out because of mental illness. And y'all crashing out because y'all think it's cute. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. So, it's your girl, B. Octavia. I have a new series coming out. I feel like it's going to be Thursday or it's going to be one day this week. <laughs> okay? It's going to be one day this week. And I want y'all to leave y'all suggestions for new videos, you know, for new topics to discuss over here. Thank you again for 12,000 subscribers. That really made my day. It made my heart so warm yesterday, today, all this week. That's the vibe. You know what I'm saying? So thank you.